Business Capitalist, Topic 3.1, Number 9, from page 309. Okay, we have the cost function for a um, advertisement company, and this tells us the um, cost to run a revenue uh, to run a um, commercial during the Super Bowl in the thousands. We're looking for the um, average cost uh, for four commercials. So first, let's work on the average cost. We find the average cost by taking the cost function and dividing it by x. That means that we'll have 150 plus 2,250x minus 0.02x squared, all divided by x. Dividing this by x, this cost function by x, gives us the um, average cost function. Now, we want to know about four commercials. So let's put in four items, or four for x. So this becomes 150 plus 200 sorry, 2,250 times 4 minus 0 0.02 times 4 squared, all divided by 4. Okay, um, let's work out that numerator. So this will be 150 plus 2,250 times 4, and then minus 0.02 times 4 squared. Okay, that gives me a numerator of $9,149.68, all divided by 4. And when we divide that by 4, um, I end up getting $2,287.42. Now, this is actually in the millions, so it's actually $4 million. And since this is um, cost divided by items, the units will be um, $4 million per item as an average cost. Okay, now let's take a look at number 12. Okay, number 12. Um, they said that the um, there are students being charged a dollar ten for um, pasta, so a dollar ten. Well, that's the money that's coming in, so that's revenue. So we'll write that as r of x equals a dollar ten times x, and that'll be our revenue. Now they give us the cost function as c of x equals three fifty plus zero point one zero x plus 0.002x squared. All right, where x is the items or the pasta that's being sold. So the cost of the pasta is 350 plus 10 cent each serving, or each pasta serving, and then plus some 0.002x squared term. First, we want to calculate the revenue and the profit, um, and also the marginal revenue and the marginal profit. OK, so let's start going through. The revenue, let me try with that correctly. Um, yeah, we want to calculate the um, marginal revenue and marginal profit. Well, the derivative of the marginal, sorry, the revenue will be the marginal revenue. So the derivative of this will be 1 times $1.10. Now, we're going to need the marginal cost. So I'm going to take a derivative of the cost right now. So the derivative of the 350 is 0. The derivative of x is 1, so it's going to be 0 0.10 times 1. And 2 times 2 is 4, so it's going to be 0 0.004x to the first power. So let's clean up the cost function, the marginal cost function. So this will be 0 0.00 plus 0.004x. All right, now, so they asked for the marginal revenue. We got that. And the marginal profit. Well, marginal profit, let me make a letter P here. Marginal profit comes from the marginal revenue minus the marginal cost functions. In this case, the marginal revenue function is going to be the dollar ten. 
the marginal cost function is going to be the number here, which is 0, 1, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 0, 4, x. All right, so this is our marginal cost right here from there. And so when I simplify this, I'll get a dollar ten right here. This will be negative 0 0.10 and negative 0 0.004x. And I combine these two, and I get a marginal profit of 1 minus 0 0.004x. OK, so we have marginal revenue and marginal profit. Part B is asking for compute the, uh, the revenue and the profit um, so that the marginal um, and also the marginal revenue and profit if we're producing 200 items. So now, what does this come out to be if we have 200 items? So I need to find the revenue. Well, the revenue function is, oops, that's written incorrectly, is $1.10 times x. And so when we put in 200, here we'll get 1.0 times 200 and this ends up being $220 in revenue. Okay, we also want to know what is the, let's see here, compute the um, revenue and the profit on um, the profit function. Hmm, I don't have the profit function, so I'm going to create our profit function. Profit function is revenue function minus the cost function. So for 200, it'll be revenue of 200 minus the cost of 200 items. All right, let's move this up here. Okay, so revenue at 200, revenue function was a dollar Sorry, in fact, we already know that answer. It's 220. So let's put 220 there. Now the cost function with $200 in it. Let's go back up. Here's that cost function right here. Okay, so I'm going to put $200 in that. So let's say cost function with $200 will equal 350 plus 10 cents times 200 plus 0 0.002 times 200 squared. Okay, here we go. So this will be our 350 plus 0.10 times 200, then plus 0 0.002 times 200 squared. All right, that's 450 bucks. All right, so the interpretation is that our profit of 200 will be um, $220 minus $450. Again, this is our revenue and this is our cost. So 220 minus 450. Oh boy, our profit, we have actually lost Two hundred and thirty dollars. Okay. Uh, after we made made uh, made and sold two hundred items. Okay. Furthermore, let's see we have um, profit and marginal revenue and profit. Okay, the marginals. Okay, well my marginal revenue. Let's see. My marginal revenue is 1.0. And so if I put in 200 in here, because that's a constant, that does not change. So this is still dollars per item. And looking for the marginal profit, the marginal profit function um, was 1 minus 0.004x. So when we put 200 in here, we get 1.0004 and 200. And let's see, if I 
I have my two zeros here, and I move those two zeros. This will be 0 0.8. So it ends up being 20 cents. And that's dollars per item. OK. So at the, at the instant I make 200, I'm getting 20 cents per item. Oops, sorry. Too low. OK, again, at the um, x is 200, we get 0 0.004 times 200. Is that too many zeros? Uh, checking my numbers. Man, that's just enough. Okay. And let's see. 200 times this gives us 0.8, and 1 minus 0.8 gives me 20 cents left. So that's 20 cents per item. Okay. Now, let's try number 15. Fifteen, we have p equals five x plus the square root of x, and where x is the number of magazines that you can sell in the month, and we're currently selling fifty magazines. We want to find the profit and the uh, marginal profit uh, for fifty magazines. Well, for fifty magazines, we have p equals or p of fifty equals 5 times 50 plus the square root of 50. So 5 times 50 plus the square root of 50. That gives us a profit of $257.07. Now, marginal profit, we have to take a derivative of this. So I'm going to convert this into 5x plus x to the 1 half power. So the derivative of this function will be 5 plus 1 half x to the negative 1 half. I got the negative 1 half from taking 1 half minus 1. So when I convert this back, we'll have 5 plus 1 over 2 and the square root of x. And that's the derivative function. Now when we put in $50, we have 5 plus 1 over 2 and the square root of 50. Well, let's see. Let's put this in there. We have 5 plus 1 divided by, open parentheses, 2 square root 50. And let's close that. And we end up with $5.07. $5.07. So this is how much money per magazine, which is the items, that we're making.